Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are ready to launch Horus next month. We have the Mariner 8 complete in three months for our joint mission with NASA. We have the next phase of the Saturn flyby in six months and the next phase of Jupiter flyby in 14. Uh, we do have uh, Uranus ready and so does Japan. So we need to start that soon. All right. Uh, a team of researchers have proposed using your space telescope launched in the space telescope mission to study the dwarf planets Pluto and Eris and learn more about these distant objects. The project will require funding, but it has a chance of producing additional science. I approve proposal. Proposal accepted. You have approved the. You have approved the proposal. The researchers estimate that they will deliver results, positive or negative, in six months' time. All right. Oh, we're not ready to launch, Horus. It's complete. Uh, additional mission training option, diplomacy, okay. Man, the launch reliability on that thing is nice. The payload reliability, not so much. Alright. Well, let's bring a scientist. Our bootstrapper. And an electrician. Now the diplomacy... Plus 10% diplomacy... Nah, I, that's not that important. I think I'm going to go with the science. And the launch date will be May. That will give us some science. 100 science a month, 25 months more or less. But hopefully we get the bonuses, which means that we'll get more. Alright, confirm. And then we have the Mariner 8 complete. Plus one mission control expansion research complete. Nice. So we can... Add another mission control to our base, I think. And let's start researching the modular space station 2. Uh, what's out here? A Venus request mission, balloon science. It's not a bad mission. Uh, base, build, mission control expansion. Where can we fit it in? That's negative. All right, so I guess we'll fit it in here. That's where it's going. Uh, for research, do we have... Uh, no cost to moving buildings. Now, that's interesting, but that means that we need to complete all of this research and I'm not going to do that right now. We need mission research and we need the modular space station. Okay, how long will this take to build? Six months, okay. So in six months we have an extra mission slot. All right. Mariner 8 is complete good payload reliability and we'll design a vehicle for it uh, Athena seems like the cheapest one the Agena is the most reliable. Let's choose the Agena because the US is paying for half of it anyway. And then we can go with the Atlas or the Ariane. Ariane is 418,000. The Atlas is 140,000. Let's go with the Atlas. 
Uh, upgrades. The launch reliability is really horrible. Let's increase the launch reliability. Yeah. Build that. And next month, month we're launching the private space station. And then we are going to launch the Uranus flyby. Because I don't want Japan to beat me to that. And we need to finish those challenges. All right, next month. Ninety-eight percent launch reliability, fifty-five percent payload reliability. Decent amount of science looks good to me. All right, let's get this baby in the air. Well, out of the air. All right, it's only a two percent risk of critical failure. So let's get our shuttle into the air once more. To space. Okay, looking good, looking good, and we're going to space. Oh, that worried me a bit there in the end. But we have a secure launch, very good. Hermes does not get more reliable than it is. Oh, we have drift to contend with. Needs to be at zero. And we need 50 nab. So we need to get a lot of nab every turn. So how about we do this? Then we do a gyroscopic stabilization. And then we do a location extrapolation. That takes us back to zero drift. And we get 10. We have six turns, three actions per turn. Our reliability, though, is a problem. Nice. Two extra. Okay, so that takes us to 12. All right. I think we'll do the same thing again. Oh, no, not that. That. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that one more time. We may need to take time to do some recharging. Two less? No. We'll resist that. Damn it. And the drift will be increased by one. We can't do that, so we have to resist it. Okay. So that's 22. Two and four. So what if we... Just recharge power three times. Then we can do this again. That takes us to 32. And we have a good amount of power for resisting. Um, we have to resist this, I think. Ooh, that was close. Okay, now now we can actually do this, this, and this. 
which will take us to 48 and keep our drift neutral. Let's do that. Damn it. Uh, we'll assist it. Damn it! I'll accept that. Damn it! And we have to resist that. Alright, so we have two power left. We can do that, we can do that, and we can do that. That takes our drift to zero. We'll get our bonus points. And we'll have one power for resisting. And that's going to be enough. Actually, two power. Nice. All right. Earth orbit is achieved. Then it's the next one. We need 14, 20, and 8. We have six turns and three again. We have a little bit more give in our drift. Plus, minus one. But this fluctuates fluctuates plus minus two at, at the end of each turn. Okay. So if we do that, and then do that, and then do Oh, we don't have any more crew. Okay. So, what if we then do... This and this. That gives us 8, 2 and 2, and we are within the margin. We'll resist that. Nice, a bonus. We haven't seen that a lot on this mission. An additional data, that's good. And that works as well. And it just leaves us where we were. So... How about we do an external sensor alignment? Then we do... Uh, conduct some experiments and mission control monitoring takes us to eight, nine, and three, and right smack in the middle. Damn it. Reduced by two, we're resisting that. And that leaves us right smack in the middle, okay. So... We could do that. Then we could do that. And... Do a signal attenuation test. It takes us down to 2 power, but it takes us up to 13, 14, and 3. Which I'm okay by. Damn it. Uh, let's accept that. Okay, so 12, 14, and 3. And yeah, it pulled our drift down. So we're going to need to get our drift up some. So what if we do this twice? And then do a flight path control or actually a recharge. Let's do a recharge. Still have a couple of turns left, but I'm not sure we're going to get this bonus. We'll resist. Come on! 
would be increased by one. So that would be two over that way. I'll accept that. And then it takes us back to minus one. Okay. So... We have a lot of data that we can spend. So we can do that. And then next turn, we need five nav. Huh. If we do this, then we need to push it back one somehow. I don't need data. So something like that. Let's try it. Nice. I would rather have had nav. Cost an additional. That'll pull, pull us over two. We're going to have to assist that. And we have no power to resist this, but we don't care if it costs an additional data, so that's fine. And we are right smack in the middle here on the last turn. We don't need to worry about drift now. So we could recharge and then do two flight path controls. That gives it to us. Or we could do this. Just do one flight path control, which means that we can resist once, and we still get it. Let's just make sure. So a flight path control, a recharge, uh, so a recharge, then we do a flight path control, and then we do an external sensor alignment, giving us one power to resist, and we can afford losing one comms as many nav data as they want, but we can't afford losing a nav. Alright, so we're golden. No matter what. Right, bonus reward achieved. Nice. That was a little tricky. That was a little tricky. But we did it. And we have another space station in orbit. Seems like there are a lot of space stations up there. Okay, so 721 support, 155 science for 25 months, 41 uh, relations with Japan and parallel construction. Not bad. Jadius, Mitchell, and Ward are now stuck in space for a while. We have Away for 8 months and away for 12. 3 away for 8 months and 3 away for 12 months. Alright. That's fine. What do we have here? Uh, Venusian photography. But I want to... Uh, we're already doing Jupiter flyby, right? Pretty sure we're already doing Jupiter flyby. Yeah, we are. And we're doing it first. All right, good. And we have a mission slot, which is going to go to the Uranus flyby. Plan that mission. We're going to go with extra power, three extra power, nice. And build that. Okay. Pretty good. Let's... 
Oh, NASA guest astronaut proposal. NASA have proposed sending one of their astronauts to your space station Skylab, where they would remain for several months before returning. NASA would be responsible for funding and operating the mission and have stated that it would strengthen ties between our two great agencies. Your station crew believe they can accommodate an additional astronaut and say that it would, would welcome the extra supplies brought by the mission. Your advisors note, however, that NASA would certainly gain science from accessing the station. Uh, you know what, we're going to accept that proposal. And we gained 25 reputation with NASA. And we are now very much allied with NASA, which is good. So plus 15% joint mission contribution and plus 5% science income we get from that. That's not bad. That's not bad. So we get getting 1,003 science a month now. Let's just see. Modular Space Station 2. No one has it yet. Good. Alright, next phase of the Saturn flyby is ready. So let's continue that mission. That isn't that beautiful. I love it. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. It's cold out here. All right, we need to deal with heat. And we need to collect 18 of each. Our probe isn't super reliable. And keep it above zero. But nothing about keeping it below anything. We just need to keep it above zero. And it will be reduced by two every turn. Okay. Okay. So how about we spend a power on some visual spectrum sampling and then do two gyroscopic stabilizations, which gives us six and six zero six, six comms, zero data, six nav. And then we can do an external sensor alignment, which will give us four, three, and eight. That seems pretty good to me. We have five turns and four commands per turn. We have, well, now seven power remaining. Accept that, and gyroscopic stabilization, very nice. Ooh, that was close, but it made it. Okay. And the heat will be reduced by two. All right, so that was a pretty good start. Let's... Let's use a power and a nav to get five of these, and then do two gyroscopic stabilizations again, and a sensor alignment. That gives us eight, seven, and fifteen, and takes the heat up to six, and leaves us with six power. That seems pretty good to me. And we didn't need to resist anything. Wonderful. That's unusual. And our heat goes back down to four, but that's okay. The satellite is in a good place. All right. Um, let's do two data compressions. And two infrared mappings, maybe? That takes us to 18, 15, and 11. I think I am good with that. Oh, the data compression didn't go well. It didn't compress at all. 
we resist it though. Nice, a little bonus there of two extra data. Nice. And I think we just got two extra, so we can accept this one and just get four instead of five. Okay. Now... Let's do an external sensor alignment. And I think I want to recharge and do an orbital plane adjustment. That gives us everything that we need for data and for nav. Then we just need a bit of comms. So I think I'm going to recharge twice here. Nice. Nice. Alright, so all we need is two comms, which we can get just by doing that. And then we can recharge three times, ensuring that we can resist that one time. And we get our uh, bonus reward. And we don't need to think about heat now, but even if we did, we're fine. So, all good. 50% bonus reward. Yes, baby. All right, we're flying by Saturn, and that completes that mission in first place. Give us, us an extra 300 support. And we actually get 2,478 support in total which will take us up above the 60,000 for the next budgetary review and 840 science for four months. Very, very nice indeed. So 797 science a month right now. That is not bad. That is not bad. And we are past the 60,000 mark for some extra funding. So right now we're getting 663,000 and I think we, it took us just over 700,000 for the next uh, 714,000 at the next tier. So not bad, not bad. When is the next funding review in six months? All right, well, we have a mission slot now. We're already doing that one. We don't have any milestones out here right now. There's nothing on the moon. We can't do anything here yet. So I guess it's a request mo mission. The infrared Ob observatory, 8,880 science. It's over a long time, but it's a lot of science. Let's plan that mission. We'll give it some extra power. Wow, 1692. All right, so only 200 and something. That it costs extra, so let's build that payload. The granat. Okay, we're almost halfway there to the modular space station to research, though we do need to research the payload as well. And if we take a look here, no one has the science yet. Good. All right, next month. No new findings in dwarf planet study. A recently approved propo proposal to study Pluto and Eris using your space telescope has ended in disappointment. After no new discoveries were made, however, the acquired data has been used to bolster our understanding of dwarf planets, ensuring that no science has been lost due to the project. Okay. Well, there was 300,000 down the drain. Mm -mm -mm. All right, happiness is complete. 
Uh, and our mission control expansion is complete, which means that we can do another mission. Uh, minus 10% launch liability, that kind of sucks. But the support mission training bonus is kind of nice. Let's do January. Do I want to do support tra mission training though? Or do I want to do launch reliability? 56%. Why is it telling me support? Didn't I switch to launch reliability? It gives us an extra 12, taking it up to 68. I think we'll do that. Confirm. All right. Then the Voyager is complete next month. Modular Space Station 2 research complete. Oh, I forgot our one... Uh, our new slot. Uranus flyby or payload repeat. All agency affiliated contractors are available. Nice. So... Let's take a look at our contractors. Wow. That is a lot of contractors. We'll take a look at those. Uh, we'll need the Athena. It's the only one that can do it. So that's the one that's doing it. And we'll need... The Titan 3. It's not that reliable, but... We also have the Delta 5 that can do it. 1.1 million, 680,000. I think we'll go with the Titan 3. We're definitely not going with the Saturn. Let's do the Titan 3. And we'll do... Parallel construction is new. Supplementary boosters have no build time, but we're not using that. So I think we'll do this one neutral event chance is converted to positive event chance though the reliability is so bad you know what i think we're going to go with advanced shock absorption for a little bit extra reliability on the payload and let's take a look at these contractors. Red Giant. Wow. Reduce it by three months, but look at the cost. All right, X Star reduces the cost, but reduces the support by 30%. No. Reduces the cost by 30%, but reduces the size output by 40%. Not a chance. It reduces the build time by three months, but the launch reliability by 20%. No. Increases the cost by 20%, but increases the money by 20%. Or increases the science by 20%, but increases the cost by 20%. Then we have reduces cost by 30%, but increases the build time by 20%. Uh, increased launch reliability, but two extra build months to build. Extra science or extra support, less science. Okay, I. To be honest, I really don't like any of those options. I really don't like any of those options. Now this one might be nice. Extra science for 20% extra money. You know what? I'll select that one. Ito Industries. I like that. 1.6 million. That's okay. Confirm. Build that vehicle. 
launch in seven months. We need to research something, and that is, of course, going to be payload unity. It takes 8,800 science. Jesus. And we have a mission slot available. Lunar radiation, not super interesting, is it? Um, what's that? Is that the only request mission there is? It is. And we're already planning that. So... What do we have out here? Saturn Ring Survey. Hmm. Increased propellant capacity. Suboptimal launch dates become optimal launch dates. That might actually not be bad, but it's a 37 month mission, which is just too much. Venus, we could do the Venus orbit. That takes five months. Let's, let's do the Venus orbit. And stick some extra power on there and we'll build that payload. All right. And let's just move on to the next event, I guess. So, if we take a look at Jupiter here, we're doing Jupiter flyby. And we'll finish that first. We have completed two challenges. We finished Saturn flyby first. We did it same month. It's a little bit unfair that Japan only gets second, but fair enough. Well, not fair enough, but okay. So, all right, well, let's just go to the next event. Uh, Mariner 8 completes in three months. And we launch Phobos Photography in three months. Actually, we're out of time. So let's just call it here. Oh, uh, prog rocket support. A popular prog rock band. What's what's prog rock? Have to know, donated all proceeds from a recent stadium event to your agency in support of your Venus orbit mission. The publicity generated by the stunt has resulted in a huge surge of sales for the band's album, The Winds of Venus, which your PR team have suggested may not have been wholly unanticipated. Gained four hundred thousand. Not bad. Not bad. So it Union is launching Jupiter flyby. But we're all the way already on the way there, man. We are close. Four months. Alright, cool. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.